Hello everyone, this is Joseph Atluck from StellarMate. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to assign permanent designations to serial to USB adapters. These adapters are pretty common in astronomy, especially in mounts, focusers, sometimes filter wheels, and GPS devices. So the issue is that these adapters get assigned ports by the operating system. In Windows, these ports are like COM1, COM2, and etc. Under StellarMate, they get assigned ports like TTY USB 0 or TTY ACM 0. Now, if you have multiple serial to USB adapters, you might encounter issues connecting your devices. To best illustrate this, let's take an example here. I have a profile which I'm using the telescope and CCD simulators, but I'm connecting RoboFocus and also a GPS device, and they're both using serial to USB adapters. Let's click Save, and let's now try to connect to them. Now, this is the GPS device trying to get a lock, and actually it got a lock, and you can notice here that the location changed to GPS location. If we go to RoboFocus, we notice that it actually was able to connect, but if we see here, it tried to connect first to uh, the GPS port, which is TTY ACM0. But after it failed, and because we have auto search on enabled, it went on to the next port and tried that. So some people can live with that, but I prefer to use permanent designations so there is no auto search going on. It just connects correctly to the designated port. So how do we do this? I mean, would it be nice that instead of these arbitrary designations, we have something like dev slash focuser, and then regardless of what port is assigned by the operating system, we just use this port all the time and just forget about it? Well, this is the purpose of the StellarMate Serial Port Assistance Assistant tool. So it's in StellarMate Web Manager, and we, we just go here and click on this icon. It will ask you to dis disconnect all devices. This is not strictly necessary. Let's just click Next. Now we need to select which device we need to map. Let's choose Focuser. And before we do this, let's just disconnect it from here because this tool will disk to use this tool we need to actually remove the focuser unplug it and replug it so we don't want any to complain now let's click next and all we need to do now is to unplug the focuser and it should detect it soon and yeah let's replug it again okay there we go and now it's been detected and it will ask us to unplug it and replug it again. So I'll do that. I am unplugging now and replugging it again. And we see here that it has assigned a port designation to it. Let's click next. Let's do the same thing for GPS. Let's click next and let me unplug the GPS. Replug it back in. Okay, and let me unplug it and re-plug it again. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We're pretty much done. Now, the final thing we need to do is to go to RoboFocus, Connection, and let's set the focuser as the port. Let's set the auto search to disable because we don't need it to search for anything anymore. Let's go to Options. Under configuration, click save. Now let's stop ND and let's try this again. If you go to RoboFocus, it connected fine the first time, no search, no delays, and this is guaranteed to work even after reboot. So, this is all you need to do in order to assign permanent designations to your serial to USB adapters.